Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Bloods Audios. Today we are going to read the story The King of the Polar Bears. The story is about the mighty king of the polar bears and one of his difficulties through his life. Let's begin, shall we? The mighty king of the polar bears lived among the icebergs in the far north. He was big and old and wise and powerful. All the animals whispered among themselves that he was a magician for nothing seemed able to harm him. But he met his match in humankind. One day he came upon some men in a boat who shot him and left him to die. When he awoke, he was hurting everywhere. The men had cut away his hide with its glorious white hair and carried it with them. Above him circled thousands of his followers, the gulls. They were wondering if the king was really dead. But when they saw him raise his head and groan, they knew he still lived. One of them said to his friends, Our king is a great magician, for even men cannot kill him. But he suffers without any covering. Let us help him by each giving him as many feathers as we can spare. One after another, they plucked with their beaks the softest feathers from under their wings and dropped them gently upon the body of the king of the polar bears. Then they called to him, Courage, king! Our feathers will guard you from the cold winds and warm you while you sleep. Have courage then and live. And the king of the polar bears had courage to bear his pain, pain and lived and was strong again. One day, two polar bears arrived at the king's cave to ask his advice. But when they saw his great body covered with feathers instead of hair, they began to laugh and said, Our mighty king has become a bird. Who ever before heard of a feathered polar bear? They ran to their fellows and carried the news of the king's strange appearance. The result was a meeting of all the polar bears upon a broad field of ice, where they talked gravely of the remarkable change that had come upon their king. He is in reality no longer a bear, said one. He is half bear and half bird, and so unfit to remain our king. Then who shall take his place? asked another. He who can fight the bird bear and defeat him, answered an aged member of the group. There was silence for a time, but at length a great bear moved to the front and said, I, Wolf, will fight him, and I will be the king of the polar bears. The others sent a messenger to the king to inform him of the challenge. I will fight growled the king, and if Wolf defeats me, he shall be king in my place. Then he visited the gulls and told them of the coming battle. The queen gull said, I met an eagle yesterday, and the eagle told me he had seen an enormous polar bear skin thrown over the back of a carriage that rolled along a street. That skin must have been yours, O king. And if you wish, I will send a hundred of my gulls to the city to bring it back to you. Let them go, said the king. And the hundred gulls were soon flying rapidly southward. Upon the fourth day, the gulls reached the city and hovered over the streets until a carriage rolled along with a great white beer robe thrown over the back seat. Then the birds swooped down, the whole hundred of them, and seizing the skin with their beaks, flew quickly away. 
The day of the fight came, and all the polar bears in the region gathered around the king's cave. Among them was Woof, strong and confident of his success. The king was disappointed at not having recovered his skin, but he resolved to fight bravely without it. He advanced from the opening of his cave with a proud and kingly bearing. When he faced his enemy, he gave so terrible a growl that Woof's heart stopped beating for a moment. Woof began to realize that a fight with a wise and mighty king was no laughing matter. After exchanging one or two heavy blows, Woof's courage returned. Come nearer, bird bear, he cried. Come nearer that I may pluck your feathers. This filled the king with rage. He ruffled his feathers as a bird does till he appeared to be twice his actual size. Then he strode forward and struck Wolf so powerful a blow that he fell dead upon the ground. While the bears stood looking with fear and wonder at their king, the sky darkened. A hundred gulls flew down from above and dropped upon the king's body a skin covered with pure white hair that glittered in the sun like silver. And the bears saw before them the well-known form of their wise and powerful master. They bowed their heads in respect to the mighty king of the polar bears. And that's the end of the story, written by L. Frank Baum, who is famous for his fantasy novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. He was an American author who wrote mainly for children. He discovered his talent for storytelling from the nursery rhymes and tales he told his four sons. We hope you found it interesting. For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. We have uploaded many stories here at Brain Blitz Audios. Some of their links are given in the description down below. Please do visit the links and enjoy more stories. See you soon. Tata for now.